salut, bienvenue sur la chaîne. Welcome to the channel. Let's speak French. GH. I hope you've been enjoying the lesson so far. Today we coming away with a special package, and I hope you enjoy the lesson. And hope to see your comments and your questions and your contributions to the lesson. All right, so I'm giving a shout out to all my subscribers and all my viewers. All right, this is Let's Speak French. Je m'appelle Monsieur Emmanuel. Let's speak French with GH. Today we are having a lesson that we I describe as a lesson of picture description. I'm going to display different pictures on the screen and I'm going to help my viewers to describe the action that is taking place in the picture. Thank you. Alright, so in the first picture, there's a there's you can see in English, if I'm describing it in English. I can see somebody is sleeping and there's a clock here indicating the time that the person is sleeping. So there, there are two questions that are supposed to guide us in describing what we have in the picture. The first question is, can her a team? Can her a team? You remember in one of our previous lessons, we learned about time, how to say the time or how to tell the time in French. So if you have not watched that lesson, I'm going to put it in the description so you can click on it and watch how to tell time. Or in case you've forgotten how to tell time. So we are going to supposed to tell the time in the picture and we are supposed to also tell what the person in the picture is doing. So we have the first question as can her a till? The second question. Que fait Samu? Samu is the name of the person sleeping. Alright, so in answering the question, can her a team? You can see the small hand on 7 and the long one on 12. So we will say this is 7 o'clock in the morning. In French, we say, il est 7 heures du matin. Il est 7 heures du matin. So that's the first answer. Il est 7 heures du matin. Then the second one is, Que fait Samu? Que fait Samu? What is Samu doing? Samu is sleeping. So in French we say Samu door. Samu door. So putting the two together, we're going to say il est certain. Samu door. Il est certain. Samu door. All right. So I'm going to display another picture in which we are also going to be guided by some questions to. Describe what is happening. All right. So look at that. All right. So in the second picture, we see Samu running. We see Samu running. We see someone standing here, like the mother, who is also telling him or giving him some instructions. Then we also see it is raining. All right. But we are only supposed to answer two questions from this picture. Quel temps fait-il? Quel temps fait-il? Quel temps fait simply means what is the time, what is the weather, what is the weather condition in the picture, what is the weather condition in the picture, and où va Samu, where is Samu going, where is Samu going, so as you, as you can see Samu is dressed like a student, Samu is dressed like a student, so we can guess that Samu will be going to school, so we can even see books and the way he's dressed, this is how I've most schools dress in Africa, they wear shorts and uniform. Alright, so quel temps fait-il? What's the time or what is the weather condition? Quel temps? The answer is il pleut. Il pleut. If you want to say it is raining, you simply say il pleut. Yeah, I have a short video on this il pleut. Yeah, you can also watch that one il pleut. The second one is où va Samu? Où? Who in French means where. You see O U with accent on top. It means who. Who means where. Who was Samu? Where is Samu going? Samu is going to school. In French, we say Samu va à l'école. Samu va à l'école. So we say, Quel temps fait-il? Où va Samu? Il pleut. Samu va à l'école. There are so many things you can see about in this picture. 
but we decided to talk about only these two questions. All right, so the next picture is Keski Arif Asamu. Keski Arif. What happens to Samu? What happens to Samu? What is happening to him in the picture right now? What happens to him? In English, you say he slips and falls. He slips and falls because of the weather. It was raining, and I'm sure the place is muddy. So, Keski Arif Asamu. In French, you say il glisse et tombe. Il glisse et tombe. He slips and falls. Il glisse et tombe. Yes. So that is the answer, or that's the description for the action in the picture. The next one, you can see Samu uh, on the picture on the screen, very dirty. Who is Samu meant now? Yeah. So you can see he called here. Samu ne pas content. Pourquoi? So we have two questions that we are supposed to answer here. Which says, Who is Samu maintenant? Where is Samu now? Where is Samu now? They are supposed to tell us where Samu is now. Where is Samu now? And the next one is, Samu ne pas content. Pourquoi? Samu ne pas content. Samu is not happy. Why? Samu is unhappy. Because in the previous picture, you saw Samu falling. Or four in the mat. So who is Samu Metna? Samu e Taliko. Samu e Taliko. Samu is in school. Samu e Taliko. Then the next one, Samu ne pa konta pukwa. Samu ne pa konta paski le tombe e sa e il sa because he fell and he is dirty. I'm sure he's hurt also. Samu ne pas content parce qu'il est tombé. Et ça. Yeah, so that is the description or that's the word we give to Samu. Then you see Samu in the classroom. Who se trouve Samu? Remember I said who means where? Where is Samu now? Que font ses camarades de classe et le professeur? Where is Samu now? And what are what, what are his friends in class doing? Alright, so who who to do Samu? Samu is in class. Samu is in class. Samu is in class. Or Samu is in class. Que font ses camarades de class et le professeur? So from the picture, they're asking us what are his friends doing and what is the professor or the teacher also doing his friends i'm sure will be laughing at him so we say ses camarades de classe se moque de lui ses camarades de classe se moque de lui his friends or his classmates are laughing at him then the teacher i'm sure will not be laughing will be asking him questions so he say le professeur l'interroge le professeur l'interroge means the professor is interrogating him Okay, so that is where we are going to end in for the picture description lesson. That in the story of Samu, the la journée de Samu, Samu waking up at seven. Eh? So I'm going to have a brief summary. Summary of a quelle heure So il est sept heures. Samu dort. Il pleut. Samu va à l'école. Samu glisse et tombe. Samu est à l'école. Samu n'est pas content parce qu'il est blessé pour ça. Ses camarades de classe se moquent de lui et le professeur l'interroge. Alright, so this Let's Speak French GH, Emmanuel Emmanuel, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Kindly give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the lesson. If you learned something, let me know. This is Let's Speak French. Subscribe and enjoy more free lessons. Okay, you can also get in touch with me on Facebook, Let's Speak French GH, or Let's Speak French. I will answer you. Thank you. Au revoir. Bye. A bientôt.